Hey everyone, welcome back to the OCAA where we will be reviewing this matchup between the Mohawk Mountaineers and the Boreal Vipers. So we got a first serve here and we have a point here for the Boreal Vipers as number 10 will be serving Kevin Longpre. Kevin Longpre will jump serve, and it is dug by the Mohawk Mountaineers, and it's a nice spike by the Mohawk Mountaineers. Wow, what a play by number 11, Anthony Beeges. Beeges, sorry. So number five, Luke Sigurdsson will be serving for Mohawk. Luke Sigurdsson has a jump ball, and it's nice setup play, nice dig, and it's returned back. Here it's set up for a spike. Oh, and it's a fake spike, but then it's brought back up. Another spike. Oh, what a rocket, but it is in for two to one for Mohawk Mountaineers over the Boreal Vipers. Number five will be serving again, Luke Sigurdsson. You'll jump serve here, and it's put right into the middle of the court as it's set up again for a spike. And it's a block on the wall, off the net, it's kept up, and it's returned back by Mohawk. What a play. And it's a mistake by Boreal Vipers, three to one. As they completely missed that spike. I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe he was going for a fake, and then it didn't get the height he wanted. But Luke Sigurdsson will be serving again right into the same spot he did last time. And it's up on the right side, and it's it's not good, as it's a four to one lead for Mohawk Mountaineers. Luke Sigurdsson will be serving again, as he grabs the ball on the right side of the court, as he jumps, jump ball. Here, it's a nice, nice setup here. Oh, and it's coming for a spike off the wall, it's a block, and it comes out, and it's out. So five to one for Mohawk. This is a quick start for Mohawk's Mountaineers as they come against the, the very tall Boreal Vipers. And Luke Sigurdsson will jump serve and it's cut in. It's, it's a nice little setup and then comes in for the block and it's a nice tip over the net by the Mohawk Mountaineers number four. His name is Michael Kong. His two brothers, Justin and Andrew, will also be playing in this game. Luke Sigurdsson goes for the jump serve. He's been on fire. He lets it go. Number 17 on Mohawk, Gabriel Paquette. The libero will let it go. It's a serve for number 13, Michael Ayote. Ayote, sorry. And it's a nice play by Mohawk, who just fakes the setup and then puts it right over the net for a seven to two advantage right now. Boreal's Vipers need to get on a roll here. Five point deficit. Here comes the server. Michael Kong will make a brilliant serve and then it'll go over the net and Mohawk will win the point for an eight to two advantage in this first set. Michael Kong, the 5'10 native out of Burlington, Ontario, will make a nice serve here. And it'll cut back for, oh, it just goes off of the, the hand of Michael Kong and goes out off of a nice attempt at a dive, at a dig, sorry. The server, number 14, Jaden Chouinard, will be serving now. He comes up for a jump ball, a jump serve, a little bit of half jump serve, and it goes out regardless. So it is now a nine to three advantage for your Mohawk Mountaineers. Number 11 for Mohawk, Enemy Beiges, Beiges will come to the server's line and will set up for a serve. He jumps up and it's into the middle of the court. It cuts back for a setup. Oh, a, sprite, a spike off the wall. And it's a nice block. Michael Kong will get it over. Oh! And it's spiked into the net by Braden Griffith. Braden Griffith had a lot of height on that jump. I think he just mistimed it and slammed it into the bottom half of the net. Number two for Borel will is Brett McIntosh, who will be serving number two. 
the middle. He's 6-2 from Barry, Ontario in his first year. Cuts up for Alex. Oh, Turkowicz. Wow, what an amazing spike there. The the giant. He's six foot ten, ladies and gentlemen, this man is. He is in his third year here at Mohawk College, and he is number 19. So keep an eye on, on him. It's set up by Boreal, who's returned, and it's set up again by Mohawk. Mohawk reverses it, and it's off the wall. A nice block, but barely. And it comes over, it has to get it over. Oh, and he touched it when it was going out. Should have just left that ball to go, but Mohawk gives up a point here. That should have been theirs. 10 to five now for, for Mohawk still, but Borel is serving. Number 15, Stefan Lefebvre. Lefebvre. And now it's put up for Turkowicz. A nice block, and it's out on the return side for Boreal, so Mohawk gets a point here. It is now 11 to five, I believe, or 10, yeah, 11 to five. Braden Griffith will be serving. Uh, he's the 6'4", third gear from Winnipeg, Ontario. Winnipeg, Ontario, Winnipeg, Canada. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. A nice attempt at a dig there, but it's, it's a failed attempt, so Boreal will get the point. It is now 11 to six. The server, Remy Rancourt, the 5'11 native of Sudbury, Ontario, will come up for the jump serve. Nice serve, number seven. Comes up for a setup. Oh, and it's a nice little tip over the top, but it goes out and the Mohawk Mountaineers will celebrate as it is a point for them is six to 12 now, 12 to six for Mohawk. Alex Turkowicz will be serving the 19 year, number 19, not the 19 year old, uh, will be serving. It comes back for Boreal. Boreal will try to set up a play, but he puts it over as he saw some space. Off the wall, a nice block by Boreal. Comes back and it's a weird play. It kind of looked like it bounced off the net. And it comes back to Boreal who will set up and it goes after three touches, back to Mohawk. Mohawk will slam that twice in a row after a nice block off the chest or face. I'm not sure of the Boreal defender. Um, and Mohawk will just slam the ball twice for, for a point. Fantastic aggressiveness. 13 to six for your Mohawk Mountaineers here in the D-Bark Center. And it's a serve into the net. Not a good one from Alex Turkowicz. And it is now 13 to seven for your Mohawk Mountaineers. Number 10, Kevin Longpre will be serving. Big serve, uh, high in the air, but just completely wires it off the court. Not even close to being in. That's a point, that's an easy point for Mohawk. I think they'll take those all day, so just keep giving them to them. Number f and Number five, Luke Sigurdsson will be serving again, 14 to seven here. Comes up for a ball oh, off the block, off the wall, but seemed to roll down to defend the, the blocker. Number nine, Justin Kong, who um, just pushed it to his brother, but it doesn't seem to go over the net in the end. So number 13, Michael Ayot will be serving. 5'11 man from Trenton. It's a nice setup. Oh, and it's blocked by number 15 on Boreal, Steven Lefeyev. <laughs> and it's a serve for Michael Ayot, the 6'4 man from Sudbury, Ontario. We'll rocket that serve. That was a bomb. And it's put up right onto the side. It goes around the netting, so it does not count for Boreal. Number four for Mohawk, Michael Kong will be serving at the 5'10 from Berlin, Ontario. Michael Kong is actually in his third year here at Mohawk College. Oh, just goes out of bounds off a nice attempt at a dig by number five, Luke Sigurdsson. Boreal Vipers will serve again. Number 14, Jaden Schoenard. 
It's a nice play here to set up the man, Griffith. Oh, it goes right over. Griffith goes to block. It's a tip over, but Mohawk's able to control that. It comes back, and they just, Boreal just puts it, tries to put it into an open area where the Mohawk players weren't, but just ends up putting it out of bounds for a point. So that's 16-10 for Mohawk over the Vipers right now. Anthony Bages, the 6'4 man out of Hamilton, Ontario. He's a hometown boy. Will be serving here. Throws it up. Nice serve off a little bit of spin off the top. Oh, and it's a nice play, but it doesn't matter because it's it's a point for Mohawk. And the man Beiges will be serving again. Puts it out of bounds. Right into our cameraman at the back there. <laughs> Number two for Boreal, Brent McIntosh will be Brett McIntosh. Sorry, will be serving here. Oh. is a nice win for Mohawk here as they get the spike. 18 to 11 Mohawk Mountaineers over the Boreal Vipers. Number nine, Justin Kong will go up to serve. Makes a nice lofty serve into the middle. Uh, it's pushed back for a spike who finds an open area and it's a beautiful spike. Didn't have all the power on it but had the direction and that's all you needed there. 18 to 12. Boreal is kind of making a comeback here. They've got a six point deficit, but I feel like they can make some plays here. They're on a bit of a run. Oh, nice serve. It had a lot of no spin on that. Oh, nice dig there. And it goes up for the spike for Griffith, and Griffith gets it over, just over the wall. Goes up for a spike, tipped over the wall again, and it's a Alex. Turkowicz will make a nice spike, but it's defended properly by Boreal. Boreal will get it back to Mohawk's own, and they'll set up for Griffith, and it's a beautiful block, but it goes off of the defender and down into his own court, giving Mohawk the point of 19 to 12 here. It's a rainy day here in Hamilton, but will it be rainy for the Mohawk Mountaineers? We will see. Griffith will serve it into the area. And it's a nice block by the Mohawk Mountaineers. Wow, what a play. Number four, Michael Kong. The brothers are just teaming up here to just create havoc for this Boreal team. Braden Griffith will serve it up. 6-4 man out of Winnipeg. Winnipeg, Ontario, as I said before, but obviously Winnipeg, Canada. Uh, it is now 20 to 13 as Boreal will win that point off. Miss serve. Number seven, Michael, a uh, Dave McLaren will, Dave will, the McLaren will serve it. And it's right into the net as he tries to put spin and deception on the ball as he looks one way but serves the other. But it goes right into the bottom half of the net, giving Mohawk a 21 13 lead. Number six, Alex Tripp will make his appearance here as he comes in to serve. He's in his third year at Mohawk College. He's a setter, six foot, decent sized setter. And it comes up again. Oh, and it's a nice play. And Griffith tries to make the desperation dive, but he puts it into the crowd as the Mohawk women's team will collect it and send it back to the referee and the ball collectors. So now there is another substitution again. The man, <laughs> Alex Tripp, will come off and put the regular squad back on. Luke Sigurdsson, number five, and the Kong brothers, and then the Griffith and Beiges. Beiges. And it is a miss serve by Boreal as they put it into the far area and Mohawk is up 22 to 14. 
This is an impressive run by Mohawk. Mohawk's really showing why they are who they are this year and why their season's going so well. Nice spike by the Boreal Vipers as they put it into the middle of the court and the defender just can't dig it out. Number 13, Michael A. Yote will push. The coach comes over to to Braden Griffith and says, you gotta be there. And I, I couldn't agree more with him. Nice, nice dig there as it comes up. It's set up for a spike. Oh, nice return as it's pushed off the wall and it's almost kicked up to his fellow teammate. Almost a brilliant play by the number five, Luke Sigurdsson from Mohawk College. Number 13, Michael Ayote will be serving again. The six foot four man, the third year. Alaval Peresi. And it's a point for Mohawk as it's a missed serve. Number four, Michael Kong will be selling, uh, set, serving again, not setting. He'll be serving again as he puts it over the net. It's a nice play out of bounds. Luke Sigurdsson leaves it, smart to do so. Leaves it for his, for the line to take care of. Michael Kong will step up. He goes for the jump ball, it's jump serve. Nice play to return it. Set up by his man, spiked in the area. Michael Kong returns it, or digs it out. Nice play by a Kong brother, Justin Kong. Amazing. So, the Mohawk Mountaineers are informed at the right time this season as they look to continue their current win streak to six wins in a row against Boreal, who have only one game which they came against um, winless Cambria. So they have one win while Mohawk's on six straight. So this could be a landslide. If we're really looking at the game before, the women's game was a bit of a landslide. The women only accumulated 29 points in the three sets for the Boreal women's team, while Mohawk swept the whole game. That's a little highlight uh, highlights for you on the last game. And Mohawk seems to be doing the same thing in this game as the women's team did. Uh, they seem to be uh, putting a lot of pressure on, being very attacking. A lot of spikes from Mohawk, I saw. They just like to set up their man, do the same play almost, but it seems to be working. So I don't know why they wouldn't change anything. The coach is probably just getting his, his taxes read, tactics ready. Everything wasn't perfect in that first set for Mohawk. Even though they are ahead, it wasn't perfect. There are some things you could do. Be more aggressive on, on, the, on the digs. Uh, try to get in the open areas a little bit more because they're leaving a little bit too much area open out there when they could be standing at like two or three steps in uh, one or two steps uh, ahead and making those those digs. So I think that's what the coach is saying right now, just trying to get his, his troops rallied. Uh, the Boreal coach has just called his group in for a huddle. They are together now. Um, yeah, so we'll, we're looking ready, for, uh, looking forward to a second set. Uh, Mohawk leads one nothing. We're gonna get some replays going here. So let's take a look at some of the plays that have been happening throughout the game. So we see here, it's a nice play by Alec Turkowix, who will just, oh, it's a nice play. Beiges will have a nice, a nice spike there, but it's blocked by the Boreal players. And then nice fake there as Griffith will come in and they will go off the Boreal defender and go out. Nice play. You can see from this angle, the ball is going up. It's set up perfectly for Griffith, who will just slam the ball down and get fired up, as you can see right there. Nothing Boreal could do there. Nice fake. Comes into the middle of the, that's what I'm talking about. One or two steps, maybe, and he would have been there. He was just a little bit too far on his, on his wing. And I feel like that's some small adjustments uh, Mohawk can make considering they are waning you don't want to nitpick too much because you don't want to break what's not broken or you don't want to fix what's not broken Mohawk and Boreal both come to the court at the moment they are 
getting ready to serve. Luke Sigurdsson is standing over the ball. Just making a couple of adjustments here, making sure everything's ready to go. Uh, the referees are just checking everything and getting ready for a substitution. The libero will come on for the Boreal Vipers as Mohawk will set up again for a serve, an offensive attack here again for Mohawk, hopefully. Luke Sigurdsson will jump serve into, and it's a miscommunication by Boreal who just lets the ball hit his face almost. Luke Sigurdsson has been playing unbelievably. Luke Sigurdsson jump serve. We'll go into the net, it's picked up. It's a nice dig, nice setup play here by Mohawk as they go and it's cut back and Boreal will lose the point, two nothing. Mohawk's leading one nothing in the sets. If you are just joining us, we have Luke Sigurdsson of Mohawk College coming up for his third serve in a row. Luke Sigurdsson jump serve. We'll put it into the right, the left side, just where you put it last time where that miscommunication happened. The tube, Boreal, oh, they come right into my, into my grill here. Mohawk has another serve. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, Mohawk will not be serving, actually. Boreal will, has won that point. Doesn't seem to be going on the score, but... As you can see, Boreal will be serving. Three to one now for Mohawk's advantage, two point advantage. Mohawk, nice play into the open area and Boreal looked shocked at that. They didn't expect that at all. I, I saw number 10 on Boreal. He just looked around Kevin Longpre and he just looked distraught. He was like, what? How did that happen? Here comes Mohawk, Michael Kong will throw the ball up and it's a nice attempt off the wall it's a nice block by Beiges it's put up for his oh Beiges will slam it down he's always faked that little jump but this time he he faked at the Boreal players and slammed it in their faces Michael Kong the 5'10 man out of Burlington will serve it up it will go to Boreal who will dig it up and it's a so oh, what a what a play, what a fire, power, strike, but it was to no avail as Mohawk will be serving again, Michael Kong. <laughs> um, it comes out, it's set up again, and it's a nice spike by Boreal, number two, Brent McIntosh. Five to two for your Mohawk Mountaineers, but Boreal has two straight points here. They're going for a, a third serve. Josh Brown, the 6'2 man out of Sarnia, Ontario, will push it up. It's set up, nice digs. Oh, Griffith will slam that ball really hard, and it is a point for Mohawk, six to two. Beiges will be serving now. That is. Wow, Anthony Beiges will be serving, number 11. Goes for the jump serve, high in the air. Beautiful dig. It's set up perfectly for the man. Off the wall, beautiful block by Alex Turkowicz. And I believe that was Justin Kong, yes. Anthony Beiges will be setting up the 6-4 man from Hamilton, Ontario. Nice serve. Oh, just out of bounds as it just almost, it was almost inbound, <laughs> but it just goes out and it is a point for Boreal. Seven to three, four point deficit. Number two, Brett McIntosh will be setting up for the serve. That was a bit of a miscue of a serve, but uh, nonetheless, Mohawk gets the point, and it will be Justin Kong who will be serving for Mohawk now. Justin Kong out of Burlington, Ontario, just like all both of his brothers, the 5'9 man. He will push it up, and now it's back for a, a setup play. Here it comes to 
Wow, it's a nice try, a fake spike, but it's it's defended properly by Boreal. Luke Sigurdsson will try to get it over the net as it's set up again by Boreal. It's a nice strike, no spike though. As it's nine to three, six point deficit for these Boreal Vipers here. This is beginning to run away from them a bit. Six points. Nice serve into the middle. I've found some open space, but is it a good dig? And number 15 on Boreal, it just, Steven Lefleur was not playing that properly, did not play that properly. He's going off with his shoulders hang down, hung down, and his head in his, in his chest here. He's upset with himself at that one. Braden Griffith has been playing unbelievably for Mohawk Mountaineers. The number one six foot four man out of Winnipeg. He's been spiking, he's been tipping, he's been blocking. He had a couple errors in the beginning, but he's been playing unbelievably. He's a presence out there because of his height and his athletic ability. His ability to jump is just fantastic. He's already got the height from his, from his standstill, but when you add that jump, he's just lethal in the air. He's been able to make a lot of presence against this Boreal team, and I think we'll see a lot more of it in the next coming sets. The two teams will put their hands together one last time before going out onto the court. They, it is a 10-3 game for Mohawk now as they come back to the court. Justin Kong will be uh, serving. The setter has been playing pretty well. He's set up some nice plays. He's always, he's a presence in the middle of the court. And it's a nice play, it's a nice serve. It's an ace for the Mohawk Mountaineers. Justin Kong, beautiful serve. Another serve right into an open area. And it's put up and it's tipped over, but easily handled for Mohawk. It goes over the net, nice block by Luke Sigurdsson, who will make a brilliant play there to jump right before the man touched it, so he got right into his face. The man from Boreal. It's a nice spike, and it is out. Mohawk gets another point, 13 to three, 10 point deficit for this Boreal team. This is beginning to look a lot like the women's game earlier today. Justin Kong will hit the ball into the net, so point Boreal, maybe I just jinxed them. Four to 13. Steven Lefrave will come up to serve. He had a bit of a mishap that caused the timeout earlier on, but it's okay now. Well, I'm sure that's not the only reason that caused it. But wow, Alex Turkowicz just slams the ball in the face of his opponents. The 6'10", oh, he's just something else, isn't he? From Hamilton, Ontario, went to school at Bishop Ryan before Mohawk. Griffith will serve the ball as we were talking about him earlier. Nice serve. And it's a nice play, but it's dug out and it's set up again for Mohawk. And it's a nice spike. And it's put right into the stratosphere, it seems, by the Boreal players. Mohawk will be serving again. Braiding Griffith will be serving. Bounces the ball a couple times to intimidate his opponents, I believe. Get himself prepared, and it's a nice, it's a nice spike, but it's dug out perfectly by Mohawk, who get it back over, and there's a miscommunication again. There needs to be more talking on this court from Boreal as they're running into each other and letting each other get the ball when they should be talking. Mohawk will be serving again. Braden Griffith, number one. Jump serve. Oh, just, I thought that just cleared the net there. 
beautiful play by number four, Michael Kong. He just reacts to that play perfectly and puts it on the ground, onto the court. Braden Griffith will be serving again. Puts it into an open area, and it's tipped over the wall. It was a bit of a weird play there. A little bit slow, change of pace. And wow! That was an absolute rocket. Braden Griffith comes out of nowhere like Superman and just Hulk smashed him. That was a bunch of different superheroes all at once. Impressive. Here he comes for a serve again. He's on a roll here with the serves. And it's tried to tip out, and Luke Sigurdsson puts it into the net, but can't pick up the ball again, or hit the ball again. So it goes onto the ground for a Boreal point. 18 to five it is now for Mohawk over Boreal Vipers. The Boreal Vipers. As number seven, uh, Dave McLaren will come to serve. Another great spike by Mohawk, as they've just been laying them on them onto Boreal. There's a substitute here. Beiges will come on for Mohawk, as Turkowix will come off. Number six, Alex Tripp, who just came on, will be serving. He's only had one other appearance this whole game, but he's looked decent, just a server. Oh, nice block at the wall, and it goes into the stands, and two players run after it, but to no avail. Mohawk point. Alex Tripp will be serving again. There is a substitution for Boreal. Number six will replace number 15. Number six is Cody Pilon. And Pilon. And yeah, he's, he's going to look good, I believe. Number six for Mohawk, Alex Tripp, on the other hand, will be serving. Comes up for the jump ball. Jump serve. It's set up perfectly for a spike, but it's wired out of bounds. And 20 to five. This is the biggest deficit. 21 to five now. Biggest deficit, the, pyth uh, py the pythons. I, I, meant to, I was about to say pylons. That's basically what they're looking like out here with only five points, but 21 to five. One set down, you'd think they'd make it. And we have someone run into me. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, <laughs> and it is blasted by Mohawk off of the digger. And it will go for a point, 22 to five now. Alex Tripp will be serving again. Puts it in, it's set up perfectly, a, di a dig. Oh, and it's a beautiful block by Beiges and Sigurdsson. What a play. Alex Tripp will be serving again. 23 to five. Five points in a set. That's gotta be demoralizing. Oh, there was an infraction, I believe, of some sort, giving uh, Boreal a point actually I, I didn't understand what for but maybe the way he ran up on the serve number 10 from Boreal uh, Kevin Lepri Longpri will set up and it is put into the net by Mohawk eventually after that serve so Longpri will go again to serve 7 points now that is impressive 2 point run 23 to seven, and it is out. That ends their two point run with a 24 to seven now for Mohawk College. This is the set point. They will be trying to finish this off here. Let's see if he can ace him. I'm not sure if he'll go for an ace, but he's got a bit of a cushion. You always go for an ace, but. Nice play by Boreal to set it up. Put back over the net, and it's put in. Wow, what a dig by Mohawk. Beautiful. 
the libero for Mohawk makes a brilliant play to win the point and take the set. That didn't happen. I don't. That would have been. That would have been a point for Boreal, and that would have been a completely different game, I believe. But 25 to seven now after the second set. We have here with seven games remaining in the regular season. Looks like Boreal will not be able to make the playoffs, but the Mohawk Mountaineers can make a strong push to finish top three in the conference, which will put them in a great position for the playoffs, which will be hosted by Fleming College this year, starting in late February. That will be exciting. Mohawk looks to be going back to the playoffs, and hopefully they can take home a championship here. They did win the Constellations, but let's see if they can uh, win some hardware. Boreal, unfortunately, will not be making the playoffs as they've only had one win, which is not a recipe for success. Uh, but as they look into the next season, there's always next year, right? That's what they always say. I'm a Leafs fan, so that's what I always say. Boreal is talking together right now, trying to come about their wits, and they seem to have a light-hearted approach to this, as they don't seem overly stressed or overly upset. They seem to be laughing. Oh, the coach took a, a serious turn here, actually, and we'll be talking about strategy, or just mentality, I think, at this point. I don't think strategy is the thing you have to worry about. I feel like their players are just getting down on themselves a little bit, so it's not helping them. So Mohawk, on the other hand, is on the opposite side of the spectrum. They, the coach is obviously critiquing because nothing's perfect, but it's hard to go wrong with that last set. It's 25 to 7 as a final score in that set. That's very impressive for Mohawk as they just completely dominated and and moved the move the ball into open areas and and set up their their spikers. It's unbelievable. So we're going to have some replays to look at. Let's see how Mohawk and Boreal have fared. Wow, what a play. That was one of the first points of the game as he makes a brilliant play there. A nice spike. Oh, lots of power on that one. It's cut up here and pushed over. And he just walks in Superman Hulk smash. Beautiful. Nice play there at the end of the set keep it so it's a nice dig by Andrew Kong he is the libero on Mohawk and he looks very good this game as he made a brilliant play there here as the whistle is gone Mohawk and Boreal will both be heading out to the middle of the court of their respective courts sides of the courts as we start this third set Let's see how this set fares in respect to the other ones. As Alex Turkowicz will be sent off in replacement for Andrew Kong. The three Kong brothers are all on the pitch, or on the pitch. The court, it is Ale no, sorry, Michael, Andrew, and Justin. Here comes the setup. Oh, it's a nice block by Beiges and Kong. Beautiful. Michael Kong and Anthony Beiges will block that ball from getting over the net. It is a point Mohawk. one nothing. Good start here to the third set of this game. Luke Sigurdsson will set up the ball. He comes from the jump serve, and it pushes out to the setup. It's pushed up for a spike, and it's beautifully spiked into the Mohawk side of the court. Beautiful play by number 13 for Boreal, Michael Ayot. Beautiful. Michael Ayot will serve now, and it's out as the run comes to an end for Boreal. The one-point run, two points to one for Mohawk. Michael Kong will step up. He will serve it. Nice jump serve. Cuts in, and it's set up perfectly for a spike. Oh, and he fakes the spike and puts it into an open area instead. Placement over power there. Comes back, and it's pushed over. It has to go over. 
Michael Kong will set up his brother. He'll go back to, oh, what a, what a spike by Braden Griffith, who puts it off two of the Boreal players and goes to the ground eventually. Three to one here, Michael Kong will be serving. Looks up at the clock. Makes a jump serve I, into the net. Maybe he was a little distracted by the, the fancy colors on the clock. Number one for Boreal, Pierre As St. will serve here. Nice and oh, right off the top of the net as it skims it. It's set up for Beiji. Beiji will slam it home as the Mohawk Mountaineers will celebrate with woos and cheers. Alex Turkowicz will come on as Beiji goes to serve. Anthony Beji will go to serve here. The lanky young man will spike that with ferocity as it comes up again. Oh, it just misses the two little children on the sidelines. Get them out of there. Five to two here for Mohawk. <laughs> Anthony Beji will be serving. He serves it over and it goes right into the net for Mohawk as Boreal will get a point there, five to three now. Number two, Brent McIntosh, the 6'2 man from Barry in his first year at Boreal College, College Boreal, will be <laughs> serving now. Five to three, six to three now for Mohawk as they get the point off of that serve. We have a Kong brother, Justin Kong, to be serving now. He jump serves, and it's a beautifully taken serve. Nice block on the net. Alex Turkowix will fake. Oh, it's a big dig there off the face of the defender. That was a rocket. That would have, he's going to feel that tomorrow morning. 7-3 to three now for Mohawk. Number nine, Justin Kong will be serving the setter. There's a bit of a break here for a second as there's a substitution for Boreal. Mohawk will be serving as Michael Kong puts it into the net, but goes back for Boreal's point. Seven to four, three point deficit. This is the best deficit they've had in a while. Well, of this game, it's been pretty close, but. The serve comes in and it is out. That seems to be a pattern that I don't think the Boreal coach will be looking to do next game. Seems that they've been hitting a lot of balls out of bounds off of the serve, which is never good. So we got Braden Griffith, who will push it into the middle of the court. It's set up for his man. And it's a point for Mohawk, as it was awarded. Braden Griffith will be serving again. He bounces the ball a couple times before spinning it in his hand and then releasing off of the net. I think he meant to do that. And then it's a nice dig there by, oh! Wow, Braden Griffith with the slam. Grand slam, that was beautiful. Absolutely flies from halfway across the court into the, into the spike and makes the Boreal Vipers pay. Braden Griffith will serve it in, goes to the middle of the court, set up. Reverse setup, and it's nice dig by Mohawk. Mohawk tries to get it over. Nice dig again. The Kong, Kong will push it over. And it's a nice play by Michael Kong, or shall we say King Kong, who will make another block this game. He's had a couple there. Braden Griffith will go to serve. 11 to four is the score for your Mohawk Mountaineers as he pushes it over the net. 
Nice play by Michael Kong, King Kong. <laughs> Beautiful play again. He just seems to be all over that front of the net. Michael Kong, interesting. Uh, interestingly enough, he's 5'10", so you think about how tall the net is and how high he has to jump in. Considering he's not the tallest guy out there, it's surprising how many blocks he's made. Comes in for Mohawk as they make the dig after a spike. And it's Luke Sigurdsson will go for a block, and it is good. Luke Sigurdsson and Alex Turkowicz will combine for a block on the opposite side, giving Mohawk a point. 13 to 4 now. This looks more like the last set. Braden Griffith will be serving. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, here comes a spike for Boreal. Oh, it's blocked perfectly. Again, another block as Mohawk will be serving. Braden Griffith, this begins to seem, this is beginning to seem like a pattern. Griffith serve point. Griffith serve point. Griffith serve. And it is a return here. Cuts back for Mohawk. Mohawk sets up Turkowix, and it's a point. As I said, Braden, Braden Griffith is on a serving run here. Griffith serve point. Here comes Griffith off the top. He uses his foot, his soccer skills there a little bit, a little bit of techers. He blows on the ball and wipes his hands, lets the ball go for a bit. Luke Sigurdsson will be directing his fellow men in the middle of the court as Griffith will come to serve. It's set up on the side. It touches the outside of the of the netting, which means that it is a point for Mohawk. 17, no, 14, sorry, 16 to 4 now for Mohawk. Griffith will come to serve. Griffith serves and a cut back. It's a nice return. Griffith cannot make the play and it is over. That serving run is over. 16 to 5, 11 point deficit for this Boreal Vipers team as they make another substitution. Number seven, Dave McLaren will be serving for Boreal Vipers. The Boreal Vipers. Comes up with a big jump serve as it moves in for Turkowix and it's a point. It didn't have all the power on it that he usually does, but nonetheless, it, you don't need that when you're that height. And it's a substitution. Beiji will come on for Kong. Turkowix will be serving. Nice serve here. Puts it into an area and it's an ace for Turkowix. Who have eight? Who gives the Mohawk Mountaineers 18 points? 18 to five now. 13 point deficit. The 6'10 man from Hamilton, Ontario. Bishop Ryan will be proud of his performance today. As Kong will put it over the net. Beiges will set up for a block, but then put it down onto the ground for a 19 to 15 uh, to five. It is now for your Mohawk Mountaineers in this landslide of a game. This looks very similar to the the women's game earlier today as the other team, the Vipers just don't seem to be able getting any momentum, gaining any momentum as Beiges puts it between the legs, Nutmeg as well. Beautiful. Turkowitz will serve again, number 19, 20 to five here, 15 point deficit for this Vipers team, will they come back? Who knows? Unlikely. Wow, what a dig there too, beautifully. And it's a point for Mohawk again, 21 to five, four points until the set is over, till the game is over and the sweep has been fulfilled. 
cuts off the net. It's a nice dig, but it goes off the ground regardless. As the Boreal defender will not be able to clear it off the ground. And we got Alex Turkowicz, who will put it into an open area again. It's set up for Boreal, who put it along the side of the, of the net. As Mohawk will fly in here. It's a beautiful dig attempt. Goes off the off the Boreal player and out of bounds. 23 to 5 now for your Mohawk Mountaineers. Two points for the win. Turkowicz will serve. Puts it into an open area. Cuts in. The spike is messed up, and it's a point Mohawk for touching the net, I believe. Or I don't know what that was for. But nonetheless, Turkowitz will have a game point, a match point, and a set point, an everything point, as they say. It's a nice attempt by Turkowitz to dive in there and try to get the dig, but it's a beautiful play by Boreal nonetheless. Six to 24. Here comes Kong in for Turkowitz. Bit of a height difference there. Comes in. It's pushed over for Beiges, gets the block in for Boreal, but it's game, set, match. And it's a victory for your Mohawk Mountaineers. Well, that was a fantastic game. Thank you everyone for joining us this afternoon. Mohawk will be going on a four game road trip until they are back at home on Wednesday, February 5th hosting Sheridan College. Thank you very much for watching. I, I've been Spencer Van Winters. I appreciate you listening. Bye.